What is going on, everybody? Jumbo Thick here, back with more Ark in the Black's campaign. And we are taking on King Sefreth, hoping to single out some of these Camrian armies with um, Ark in here. We can't afford to really use, lose a lot of units or take a ton of damage. We really need to be able to beat this guy and then retreat, hopefully. So let's go ahead and take him on. All right. Let's go ahead and start the deployment, since we've got... A substantial advantage on them. Can we hit them from back here with their artillery? Oh yeah, we can still hit them. Let's go and make sure we can see everybody. And make sure the hill's not in the way. Nope. Oh, we should be good. Now let's go ahead and put a unit of Tomb Guard back here to help them fight against the inevitable Ushapti summon. <laughs> that will that will happen. We want a front line of Tomb Guard here. And we want to back them up with some Kepra Guard. Sprinkle them in somewhere. Let's put some archers out on the flanks here. Kind of in the flanks, kind of to just screen out some of these larger units and maybe even the arrows if we get a chance. Let's take them off that, put them on skirmish, uh, off skirmish mode, put them on guard mode. Then, let's post out some Crypt Ghouls wide in the Crypt Ghoul and um, Usurian's Legion, which, check them out. They're essentially just wraiths, but they don't have the armor-piercing damage. They're Nehekarn warriors, but they have the 75% physical resist. That is huge. It'll make them extremely survivable, even against enemies that they should not be able to hit. And so we'll put the Tomb Scorpion up here. Get Arkin and boys up here. Let's go ahead and actually bring the Tomb Prince out wide. We're going to have him help screen out like this chariot and maybe this Ushapti. Now on this side, I want to use our Hex Wraith, which is a very powerful unit since it does fire damage. Yeah, it does fire and magical damage. So the fire damage is going to be detrimental to Tomb King units. So we're going to screen out these chariots with, with our uh, Hex Wraiths. This could get a little hectic. <laughs> so, take them off skirmish mode, of course. And I guess we'll run our chariots back this way. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea to me. Okay, and that's pretty much all she wrote for now. We're gonna run Arkin up and do some damage while we can. Hopefully we don't get caught. And, oh yes, put you on that as well. Let's get him shooting at these Tomb Guards with Halberds, because they are very dangerous units. I'm going to run Arkin up and see if we can get some, some early damage in. Yeah. Because we're going to have a lot of Winds of Magic. And he's just shooting at whoever he wants. They do that sometimes. Okay. Got some damage on him. Retreat. He's coming after me. That's fine. I would love for you to come after me and me single you out. That would be awesome. Let them keep walking towards me. Let's bring these hex race up here to help screen since those guys are kind of starting to push out wider. And we might even just do this for now. Oh, crap. I forgot a unit. Oh, no. Run him up. Run him up. Run him up. All right. Where's Arkin? Put some more, put some more pressure on him. Run back. Is he really going to engage my Tomb Scorpion? That's not the best, best opponent for him. Run Arkin back here. Let's intercept with you guys. Let's pack. Okay, they can take the charge because they got that physical resist. Let's go ahead and make sure that these chariots don't get away. We'll do it like that. Screen them out. That's good. All right. Let them continue doing this. They're wasting a lot of time. Let's go ahead and run you through the skeleton warriors. That's fine. Okay. They got brave. They hopped right into them. It's my tomb prince. Buff that. Let's have you guys come in this way. I want you on the chariots like we talked about. 
So we have one of you come this way. Hop on the skeleton warriors. Okay, this is not going the best. Yeah, they're taking a lot of damage. Get them into combat. Get you guys in on them. Chariots run back this way. They need help. They need a lot of help. That's really bad for us. Let's see if we can get on some of these tomb guard. Okay, they're chased off. Let's run the hex race back this back here. Arkin, run up here. We need we need a lot of help. Is their king dead? No, he's not. He's over there. What a douche. Let's lower this. Get you doing this. And then let's get the fire damage on all of our units here. That's going to be huge. And then... How about we do a little purple sun action? No, it'll do too much damage to our own units. Can we cast it from over here? We can't. We're, we're going to do the long, di long range cast. Get him on them. Get all you guys running in there. Where are our... There you are. Start running towards them. Why are you back here? Why? How did that happen? Kept regarding on these guys. Just shooting around. I don't care what you where you shoot. With plenty of winds of magic. We really want to start buckling these guys though. Yeah, they're buckling over this way. If we could take care of them. Get get, get the Legion in here. Yeah, they're just sitting there, eating that for some reason. I don't see why that's even going the way it is, but that's okay. Where's my scorpion? They're over here. Yeah. Take care of them. This is a bad engagement. We need to cycle out the chariots. We're taking way too much damage. Let's go ahead and pop that to reinvigorate our Tomb Prince. Let's pop another Spirit Leech on the King. Want him gone. Get Arkin running this way. Okay, good. We fended them off. They used Shakti Summon. Knew it was coming. Okay, why are you guys not, like, getting out of there? Can you explain that to me? Get away. Pull away from them. Yeah, I really need you to engage them. How about you guys come here? Where are my hex rates? There you are. Start running this way, boys. Okay, we've cleaned up this side of the battlefield relatively easily. We just need to work on these other guys. Alright, they're coming. We didn't lose any units, but we took some casualties. Some casualties we did not want to take. That's unfortunate. Alright. Good, we got some loot off of that. Now, we want to guarantee we get back to our capital, so I'm thinking we take the campaign movement range. We get a little bit of money out of it, and we should be able to make it back to the, uh, to the tower, I would hope. Let's see. Oh, we're not. We're not close enough. I don't think it comes into effect until next turn. How far can they reach? Okay. So maybe if we retreat this way. Looks like he can't reach me there. What about this other guy? No. Okay. So we can we can hang out here. Can we get it's just like barely, that'd be awesome. Nope, not quite. We're almost there, but not quite. Okay, we really need this lightning strike, so let's go ahead and get Kenobi Jar Hoarder. And that's going to help us take care of this ridiculousness over here. And then, how do we want to buff out our Necrotect? Could boost income, that's not bad. We can have him damage walls. That is actually a good idea. We can pull him out ahead of our of Arkin's army and damage some of these walls because that is the greatest weakness of the Tomb Kings that I've noticed. Is that they have a hard time dealing with the siege battles because they're really not meant for sieges. <laughs> so, okay, I think that's that's about all we can do. I don't I don't, I don't really see anything else. We want to take over the rest of this. And we might even take over in the pirate island, pirate island of Sartosa. But we definitely going to push them out of here and then it, at least get Bagar. And then we might end up going to war with the Lizardmen briefly before we finish this out and start collecting more of these books. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Yeah, as soon as I solidify the Lance of the Dead, then we're going to start working towards the remaining three books that remain. <laughs> 
remaining three books that we need. I wish there were more nearby, but there aren't. Now what's he gonna do? Okay, he's running. That's good. Man, how do they have, they have four armies, guys? Now they can't have a lot of good stuff in their army because they only have two settlements. So if we crush their armies, they can only have so many things. They can keep making new armies, but they only have so many things to begin with. It is what Ooh. I know. What? Who are you? Are you at war? Oh, you're at war with Kimri? Oh, uh, I will betray you later. It's gonna happen. And hell no, I'm not- no. I don't need military access from you. So why would I- why would- yeah, that just doesn't- oh, damn it. Yeah, we're gonna have to worry about hero spam until we take care of that crap. Ah, <sighs> that sucks. How much damage did he do? Hopefully we recovered it. Eh, not a lot. We probably recovered most of the damage. King Lamizash. He already, he already has Lightning Strike. Let's go ahead and get him a Skeletal Steed. Put him up, put him up on that horse. I would love to push push this, but there's so much strength right here. Was that a uh Yeah, there's Septra, and he's got his war sphinx. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Um do we hide out? I think we hide out. We hide out in the Black Tower. Let's go ahead and get our crypt ghoul that we lost to get him back in here and we need to save up some money because we can finally start building our big big boy units so we need 9500 because I want a hero titan hero titan here I'm not sure maybe it's hero titan I'm not I don't know if you know in the comment section go and leave it down there <laughs> if you what it's supposed to be pronounced as um, we've actually pretty much stabilized that up there. We can start moving King Wakaf. Maybe start moving him this way. And he's going to have to start backing up the rest of these guys. Ah, we do, we, since we're saving money, we don't want to do anything with that. Let's go ahead and move King Fahom here towards the Black Tower of Arkin. And we could even get an ancient burial ground. That might not be too bad. He's definitely going to siege us. And when he does, I'm going to use King Fahom here to take out some of these smaller armies. Oh, does King Fahom have a... Yeah, we have... We have a Sinitep here. So that's good. Let's go ahead and use you, my good friend, to hopefully kill some of these paladins. We're not. We're gonna work on it. Yeah, let's go ahead and start with the specialist here. So we want him to be like our assassin, essentially. And yeah, we're skipping these until we've got enough money to build the um, hero titan building. So let's see what they've got up their sleeve. I've got a feeling they're gonna siege me. Just got a feeling about it. Yep, definitely. Knew it. Saul, that one coming. <laughs> Saul coming a mile away. Both of these big armies are right there. Damn it, we lost... Oh, well, it's been destroyed. So yeah, we lost one of our trade agreements. That'll hurt us in the pocketbook. Not too much, it looks like. Hey, there we go. Some more jars. Alright. Now, can we reach... To you, right? Yeah, they sent they their small armies. That's not intelligent. Let's see if he can reach them. He can reach them. Let's go ahead and just... 
We're gonna lose some units, I know it. Oh, that hurts. That hurt a lot. That hurts so much, but he's not gonna be able to re-recruit these this war sphinx, I don't think. Look, Jesus, Sephra. My god. That existence. Well, let's take the jars. Witness my eternal majesty. You well, um, Arkin needs to re-recruit some more units now. Yeah, let's go ahead and drop that and uh, move him over here. <laughs> the day of awakening my god. Comes. Well, we definitely need those back. And then we lost a chariot, right? Yeah. We'll recruit that chariot back in. Unless, do we have anything good we might... Ooh, we could get these sepulchral stalkers. They're anti-large. They're pretty good. Uh, I don't know yet. I think we're... we're this is kind of be, be Arkans army until we get some of those bigger bads in there. Tomb Prince, leave him on his steed. Hmm... Let's go ahead and finish his, out his training, so he's going to really be training up these new... <coughs> Woo! Sorry about that, guys. Oh, man. I'm going to need some water after that. Woo! <laughs> so, anyways, we're going to have the Tomb Prince training up these fresh troops. Um, the Tomb King. Let's go ahead and just kind of level him out. He is not going to survive long if they really attacked him. Trust it in life. But we're going to keep buffing those up. And let's go ahead and get him... Oh, he's, he's, he's full. He's full. He's got crap units, but since Kimri pulled away, King Lamizash can move in. Oh, crap. I am a lord of Bretonia. Never! They don't have... Well, I mean, they have, they have grill lights, so... I shouldn't say they don't have anything good, because they do. Not to Yeoman. Oh, and it's Grill Shine. Okay. So, we're going to hit this next turn, and hopefully we can overcome them with these units. I've got a pretty good feeling about it. I actually want to move our priest back into this army because of that. Alright, Arkin's good. Pools of Despair. Oh yeah, we got enough money now. Wow, that was quick. You really... See, that's the thing with the Tomb Kings. You really are reliant on battles to really boost your income. So yeah, I want the Hero Titan because the Hero Titan also has a special ability. Not only is he going to help me burn down lords, like Alternating Spirit Leech with Arkin, plus he has the Shin's Burning Gaze, which is actually does fire damage, so it is actually pretty good against um, other Tomb King units. But he's also huge, has a ton of hit points, and he also helps boost um, magic replenishment, I think? Or maybe it's just Winds of Magic. It's one of the two. He helps with casting in some way, so we will definitely put like one or two of those in this army. I really want to get Arkin with a very elite army. Oh, shit. So Lothran doesn't like us anymore. Who uh, invited them? I wonder. That's bad. That's really bad for us. You bastard. Really? It's because we're that beat up? You know what, let's pull away, replenish, and let him try to seize the pyramid. He's not going to. Yeah, he's just going to run away. Okay, that's what I thought. Because if you wanted to siege the pyramid, we would recoup our um, casualties that we we already been we've already taken, and it would have been an easy, easy kill after that. Sudenberg. No, because I'm definitely going to get rid of all mortals from my lands. Bretonians have really held out a lot longer than I thought they would. <laughs> they pre. They're getting to like mid game and they are still here. Turn 98, they're still here. That sucks. Who invited them? It doesn't say. It hurts though. 
it definitely hurts because they are powerful and yeah uh, let's get um king will cough to start heading that direction towards where they might hit us if they do come at us oh, man. and actually you know what we could preemptively go up there and do some damage ourselves we don't have a very good army though it's kind of crap as I. yeah we got him with the nehakarn warriors tomb guard okay Maybe we get some spearmen for his army. He's got some spearmen. He's got... He doesn't have bad units. We need to... Maybe we drop some of the crypt ghouls. Because they're just not going to... They're not going to cut it. And perhaps we even go after Vol's Anvil there. That, that would be a good capture. Um, they're going to be hitting over here. Which is why we need... Okay, so Kofor is the settlement that is at the most risk right now. Since we don't have a, um, a wall there. So we definitely need to remedy that. How many more turns on the Hero Titan? Four turns. So let's get Arkin inbound. Put him at the tower. Let's bring King Fahom back to the Black Tower. Get him fully replenished. What was this? Well, this was his actual priest. Okay. So, we might not make it to them if we put them in, but let's see. Nope. Didn't quite make it. Alright. Um, let's stay in our lands and try and ambush. See if they'll come towards us. I doubt it. Uh, we'll, we'll do smoke and mirrors. That 12% speed buff will actually be really good on this army. Third. Okay. Yeah. They're really holding out against us. I don't like it. And let's save up some money. Oh, these Elven Ruins, yeah. They're pretty, relatively protected. Okay, it's going to end the turn. Oh, man. That war with Lothran is going to be woo, <laughs> bad. That's bad. It was probably Kimri. They're running from us like cowards. <laughs> what the heck? Why? We need to see what they're up to over there. We need to send our one of our agents that way. So I want to say they only have one more. They only have one more settlement besides Kimri here. And if we can head them off over there. Whoa, what was that mission? Keen Asharka. Why do I recognize that name? Oh, because he's one of them that I've been fighting over and over again. That's why. Let's send you that way, because I want to see what the heck they're up to over here. Okay, so they have Numas. And they haven't built walls, but they, they have Ushapti and some chariots. And in Kemri, they've got all the good stuff, so they have War Sphinx here. Ushapti. Then they can do Tomb Guard. Okay, they've got a lot of good stuff here in Kemri, unfortunately. But if we can knock out what they've got other places, we can stop them from recruiting. Hmm. Okay, so let's actually use Arkin here. Over here. We're going to try this and see if they come towards us. Well, let's definitely start building up the garrison. We need the garrison to be high at the tower. This is not good. Because as soon as we take this, they're going to come by <laughs> and destroy us. Oh, man. That could be bad. That could be really bad if they catch us. So what are we going to do? 
Do they have anything else? Let's let's check the roster for the Bretonians. So this is their Honor last settlement. Glory. Let's weaken it. Them. It has walls? What? Legions we can't, withdraw. we can't. While those yeah. Kimrians are still all right there, we can't do it. That sucks. All we can do is try for another ambush if we can. Now, on this side of the map, we are going to be preparing to go to war with the High Elves since they. I mean, they attack. They're really declared war against us, so I don't feel guilty about this in the slightest. Um, let's drop you for sure. Let's get another unit of Nehekar and warriors since we're buffing them. What else can we get? We could get some sepulchral stalkers in this army. That wouldn't be bad. I think the carrion are going to be useless against the high elves. But some shopti would be good. You need a shopti. We've got three skeletal archers and they're really crap. They're not going to be able to do anything against the high elves. Hmm. Can we get any of the... No. What else do we have that we can really fit in here? I think we might, we might grab some of these Sepulchral Stalkers. That might be a good, a good thing to put in this army. For the anti-large bonus, specifically. Hmm. Because the High Elves have some really scary <laughs> large units. Very intimidating. Yeah, let's drop um, two of you. Let's put in one separate Stalker. And we'll even give him the Eyes of the Desert. So, two turns, he's going to have a pretty decent army. And we'll start sending him preemptively towards the High Elves while we're dealing with everything that we got going on this way. We need to get Kofor boosted up, so we're going to wait a turn. Get that boosted. This is all in preparation of an attack that might not come. Sometimes they uh, they say, oh, we're going to war with you, and then they never send an army, and then eventually they'll just back off. But with them hating us as much as they do... I shall see you back Probably to not. Where yeah, they're not going to want peace until we really put it to them. So, where are the books? I don't remember. There we go. So, we actually have a book here for taking Vol's Anvil. <laughs> so, I mean, we might as well. Might as well do it. And then there's a book here for defeating this army, but it's probably going to be a pretty intense army. How defended is Vol's Anvil? It is not that defended. I got, I've got, i got a good feeling about this. Once we get those units in our army, i got a good feeling about taking them on. Yeah, I feel, well for pre feel pretty good about that one. And we really could use like some hounds or something. Uh, do we want to do that? We could, we could get some hounds in there. I mean, the Sepulchral Stalkers are pretty fast anyway. I was just thinking the Hounds to, like, flank around armies and get into their archers, but if they're going to have Lothran Seaguard anyway, it's not going to matter. So maybe that was a foolish, foolish thing. Let's go ahead and end this turn. Hopefully... So it looks like the Kemrians are being distracted by Katar there, who want to be friends with us for some reason. <laughs> so we could be friends with them, but I'm going to take Katar. So uh, I don't want to hurt my reputation too much because we're already number one in power level, which means that everybody hates us, which I think is a very stupid way of doing that. But, you know, it can't be helped. Okay, they're going to start moving against us, it looks like. Hmm. 
I think that army up top is kind of a garbage army, so it's not going to be able to fight that army, since I think that army has catapults and some Ushapti. Hmm. Yeah, we got High Elves Confederating. Yeah, let me just ask, what do you have? Ah, oh, we, we have the Ushapti. What does he got? He's got Tomb Guard, though. He's got the Screaming Skull pat Catapult. We could... We could try to hit it. We, we might do okay. Maybe. I don't know. He's I think he's got two or three Catapults. That might be a little rough. Hmm. This is all a game of cat and mouse. Just hit and draw and... <laughs> it's, it's all over the place. Let's go ahead and boost up Kofor like we were talking about because we need to put walls here since it is going to be at risk. We still got one one more turn for this arm for King Wakoff's army to be in good enough shape to fight against them. I mean, can we get you like a catapult or something? I don't think so. No, it's already taken. We definitely don't have enough money to get you one of these either. It's okay. Alright, two turns for the Hero Titan. Now, what are we going to do with Arkin? Do we run him towards the Kemrians? Well, we're going to have to fight these guys. And he failed. Keep boosting this up to get him to maybe be able to kill that guy. Is that a vampire unit? It is. With Soren. He's looking to maybe take Katar. The Camerians are spreading out. Are they going to go after the... Yeah, they might go after those orcs. Okay. Oh, man. If we hit him here and he lost, even if we decimated our own army in the process, if we destroyed that army, it would set him back a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. Jeez. We do not have good odds, do we? Now, we have the advantage of a caster, so we at least have that going for us. And it is our Lord of Shadows caster. So we have the Pendulum. Units are pretty much a wash, but the Ushapti are scary. Now, we do have our own Ushapti to deal with his Ushapti, but he also has two catapults, and we have one catapult. So, it's going to be... This is going to be a tough, tough fight. Let's go ahead and try to take down King Sahut, though. Nehikara will be mine. All right, let's go ahead and let's gamble that wins. That's really low wins. Yeah, good. I'm glad we did that. <laughs> let's go ahead and deploy our army. He's got the advantage. We're attacking him. He's got the high ground plus the catapults. That is going to be a... Oof, that's going to be rough. Well, let's put our catapult up here on high. And we'll leave a unit of spearmen to protect it, but more than likely it's going to be butchered. That's just the way it's going to be. We're going to have a front line of Nehekaran warriors, which is not ideal. In fact, let's actually use the spearmen to screen out charges for them. Oh god, this is going to be this is going to be a complete disaster. Complete disaster. Yeah, because we really need <laughs> we need stuff on the sides. Oh shit. Okay. Let's go he let's go heavy on Ushapti on this flank. One Ushapti on this flank. So we're really gonna go try to pressure them on the outside. We're gonna use our hounds here to put pressure on the catapults, run them around, and we'll suicide them in there if we have to. The archers really will need to be defended, so we might leave our king back here to help fight against them. Um, the priest as well, stay up here. What else do we got? We got our chariots. And we're going to run you guys around this way, and this is going to be a tough fight, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and do this just so I can get all of this. Oh, shit, I forgot to select it all. 
Yeah, we're good. We're going to start running immediately. Get you guys to come up like this. Get you guys to come up like this. And let's go and play it. I might even do that one or two more times, <laughs> depending on what happens. Instead of you guys shooting at that, shoot in this blob, specifically like the Tomb Guard units. All these blobbed up units. Okay, they're moving to protect their... their catapults, that's okay. Now the one unit of Shopti versus two units, not so good for us. Let's go ahead and move you over this way. Start moving you guys up this hill. Let's move you guys over here. Okay, they're bunching up big time, which is not a good thing. We shouldn't be doing that. And where is my priest? Oh yeah, that's happening. <laughs> eh, shit. Oh, they're, they're charging. Run in there. Take them. Okay, let's go ahead and slow this down for a second, because it's going to take me a second to issue all these orders. Let's get Nehekarn Warriors moving up out of this big lump where they're doing nothing but taking extra damage that they shouldn't be taking. And then where are my archers? Let's have you guys here. King protecting. They're taking extreme damage right now. And you are going to be moving up in a second. I need you moving down this way. Yeah. Get down here through them. They're really doing a good job of screening us out. But like I said, I'm about to kamikaze these guys in there. So they can't do any more damage to us. Like so. And we're going to run you guys through the spearmen straight into that catapult. So we're going to knock out both catapults here. That's good. Let's get you guys in here. Let's get our archers. Shooting at some Shopti. Really pull those guys down. You guys coming back this way. I don't know what you're walking for. Into some, some more archers, actually. We can take out the archers. I'll consider that a win. Okay, we got them. Let's run you guys back this way. Run the hounds through everybody. Get them into the backs of some of these units. Our archers need to get away from them and start shooting at their king, actually. That would be a better spot for them. Let's go ahead and people our foe. We only have one. That sucks. Okay, he's on a shop event. That's... Oh, shit. There's Tomb Guard right there. Can we get this off? Alright, let's try to decimate some of their troops. Did you guys shoot me at their, their lord? The king really needs to engage their team. Okay, we're losing some troops here. Alright, you guys come back this way. Correct. Go after their, these archers right there. This is going okay. We're going to hit our Shafti cap in a second, but so are they. Shit. Shit. Start shooting at them, boys. Start shooting at them. Oh, that's going bad. Okay, let's use our Shafti to fight... Um, we can't afford to lose our archers. Fight them. Alright, back our archers up some more. Really need you guys to get away. Have their Shopti engage us. We got another one of these. Pendulums. We lost. We lost some units. But so far the pendulum is doing severe damage. Get in on these Ushapti. These halberds are destroying us. Come on, guys. Take them out. Take them out. Why is your leadership dropping so much? Woo, shit. If we can take their lord out, if our lord can take out their lord, we might have a chance. Get you guys in here. Run you guys up here now. 
We just need everybody to focus their kings. If we can take out their king, we've we've won. Just find miasma. Let's go ahead and drop it on those those halberd units. Come on, king. Okay. Let's go ahead and move this unit of spearmen up. This isn't looking good, boys. It's not looking good. King's taking big damage now. But they seem to be delivering it as well. Keep shooting their king. Keep shooting him. Come on. No! Oh shit, keep all these eyes. Get out of there, dude. No! Run the Lich Priest out. Can't afford to lose him, at least. Oh, we lost. We totally lost. Oh, damn it. I knew it was going to be a tough fight. They just have... I mean, the Tomb Guard units were... They were destroying us. And we ha we, ha we were forced to fight them. We can't cycle these guys out. Hey, King Lovizash is dead. He's not going to survive this. We can only do so much. That sucks. He's still alive? Yeah, yeah he's dead. That's going to be it. Um, let's go ahead and concede. So that way we don't lose our... I hope we don't lose our... <laughs> Oh, man, that was... The, the Tomb Guard. I mean, look at the kills on these Tomb Guard. That's what made the big difference. So, I do, we just couldn't go overcome it. Um, I guess we'll put in King Raho Shen. An old friend coming back. Can you... No, he can't go anywhere. So let's just get our priest out of there. And he's gonna die. <laughs> There's no way that he isn't going to attack him. Now, we did just really hurt his army quite a bit. So with that, is he out of... Is he out of this? He's out of the city, isn't he? He's not, he's not in. He's not sieging it. Or he's not inside. Let's actually attack Kemri. Yeah, he's outside the city. Oh, ho, ho, ho. They could counterattack us, but what's going to happen is it's going to interfere with what they're what they're doing. They're recruiting units right now, so it's going to stop them from recruiting any units. And we'll use a we'll just say a uh, a siege. We'll put in two siege towers. I don't plan on fighting that fight because we will definitely lose it. But we'll just use it right now to distract them while we counterattack most of their other settlements. We're going to move King Fahom into the Black Pyramid, move him closer. And can we get you anything decent? We can drop those Skeleton Warriors and get you some... Yeah, we're definitely going to do that. We're dropping those Warriors, getting you some Crypt Ghouls. Because you need something in your army. you got a lot of crap in your army. A lot of crap. <laughs> uh... Could get him some Nehekarn horsemen. They're pretty good. Because he's got a lot of skeleton art. He's got a lot of archers, period. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh well. Are we, we've got one more turn here. Let's go ahead and end it. And let's see what Kimri does. What are you gonna do? Huh. Hmm. Well, we can't fight it. Because we will definitely lose that fight with all of this, all the goodies down there. 
Both back off. Oh, damn, we took damage. That's not good. I don't like that. Okay, now they're going to prepare for a counterattack. Oh, then. <laughs> I didn't think about it. But that, um... <clears throat> The Bretonian army could easily crush that little tiny pathetic army I've got left up there. And they're going to. Yep. Ah! Saw that. I, I saw that coming the last second. That happened. Damned them. So we're going to have to recruit a new army up north. But we saved our, li our Lich Priest, so. Count your blessings, I suppose. Don't want to give up Xandri. Don't want to give it up, but it's not looking good, guys. It's not looking good. Pulls of despair. You don't have anything I really need. You're the closest to Xandri. Pulls of despair is close, though, too. Alright, we can recruit a lord. I guess we'll get King Fahom in here. Until we can get Lummy Zosh back into business. Mount Marcher. Boom, boom. Get you some jars. And we'll decide on what to do with his army later. But unfortunately, that is all the time we got today, guys. So the Camerians fought us to pretty much a stalemate. It's. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. So we're actually going to run over here. And heal up. Hopefully they don't attack us. And that's going to be that, guys. So that's all I've got today. Unfortunately, we ran out of time. But we will keep moving forward with our plans. We are weakening them. Slowly but surely, they are being weakened. And we are, will be getting stronger. So, as usual, guys, I have been Jumbo Thick. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you all very soon. Have a good day.